poor beginning for grabbing the money. Quick beginning for a king is always king, who's headed off for the yearly lead. From the outside, Desert Ruler moves to second. Cool Scar was inconvenienced. He was in tight. Now he's back about seven lengths off the lead of a king is always king. A king is always king has the lead. Three parts of length. Desert Ruler is second. Cloud play third. Hey, high pockets. Fourth on the outside. Cool Star is driven down at the rail fifth. Racing up on the outside of him and Skippy Long Stocking. Then it's Soulful Song and left behind last is grabbing the money. Cupid's dudes with him at the back. They round the far turn, 22 and four for the opening quarter. And taking over the lead now is Desert Ruler. Desert Ruler to the top of the stretch. Leads and leads by a length. Hey High Pockets is there second from between horses. Cloud Play is third. His favorite Cool Star is doing no running of any kind. They straighten for the drive. Hey High Pockets with momentum out in the center, tries to get by Grand Desert Ruler for the lead. Third at the inside, that's Cloud Play, then Skippy Longstocking. Desert Ruler is still there. Hey High Pockets is out of time. Desert Ruler and Torres in front. Hey High Pockets second, Cloud Play third, then Skippy Longstocking and Cool Star, 105 and one. And they're off. From the center, Sun Viking gets the first call and fires forward for the advantage. Chancellor Bay has speed, so does Ride On By. Splitting horses and going into the top flight is Corporate Affairs. They make their way out of the chute. Corporate Affair now shoves a nook on top. From the inside, Sun Viking is second. Ride On By races from third. Outside, fourth in Chancellor Bay. Then back at the rail, Skippy Longstocking. Outside of him and fast and steady, improving in traffic. Cool Star with Morgan Point. Out wide on the course and strike hard. Inside of him is the gray Cupid's dude. And the early trailer is Summer 5. Past the half mile and moving to the far turn. Sun Viking has the lead on the rebid. Here comes Chancellor Bay another time, and he's up to challenge from second. Skippy Longstocking needs a way out, improving on the outside and fast and steady. From the back, here's Ride On By with Strike Hard, putting in a run. Trying to rally home from the back is Summer 5. Black colors under Prado on the six wide side through a 46 second half mile. Chancellor Bay has the lead into the clear. Here's Skippy Longstocking, and these two quicken up nicely. They've opened five on a third running strike. Strike hard and they're at the top of the stretch. Chancellor Bay responds to the challenge from Skippy Longstocking and gets away at the furlong grounds. He's now four on top. Skippy Longstocking is all in and clearly second. Up to third goes Strike Hard. Back to fourth is Morgan Point, but it's Chancellor Bay for Dan Pita and Christian Torres. A nice winner. They'll win by three in the end. Skippy Longstocking was second. Strike Hard finished third. Then Morgan Point, cool star, 23 and three. One mile the journey, they're in the gate. And they're off. A bobbling start for Cool Star at the back. The favorite Rod to Rod was away in good shape. Down at the rail, Incozy is moving to challenge. Incozy will challenge Rod to Rod with Skippy Longstocking in early third. Down at the inside, down to business is an early fourth, followed inside by Euphoria Star and outside by Cool Star. They make their way out of the chute and onto the main track, Incozy. And Amisael Jaramillo in front three parts of a length. Rod to Rod is there, second. Skippy Longstocking on the outside, third. Up the rail, Euphoria Star, fourth. Down to business between horses is there, fifth. And the trailer is Cool Star. Less than five eighths to journey. The opening quarter was very reasonable, 24 and three. And here's Skippy Longstocking to challenge in Cozy for the lead. That's going to shuffle Rod to Rod back. And Rod to Rod will have to do better than that. Cool Star gets started on the three wide side, down at the rail, Euphoria Star, tailing off down to business as they round the far turn. 47 and four for the opening half mile. Skippy Longstocking with the tactical advantage and the lead. He leads by a length and a half. All in second, Rod to Rod, he's two and a half lengths off the leader, and Skippy Longstocking's going very well. This could be a complete blowout as Skippy Longstocking is now five in front, and Rod to Rod's making no impression. In Cozy is third, Cool Star is fourth, three quarters, 112 and three, and say hello to Skippy Longstocking. Skippy Longstocking by a large way. Rod to Rod is a clear second. The battle's for third. Skippy Longstocking at two to one is long gone under J.C. Diaz Jr. in front by seven in the end. Rod to Rod was about 12 lengths ahead of Cool Star, who was third. Down to business. Finish fourth. And they're off. Slow beginning for Looney Seema, bit of a bumble for Guntown. Good beginning for Red Danger. And Sport Pepper quickly comes on to take the lead. So Sport Pepper steps out and angles over toward the rail and is quickly in front to lead by two. Red Danger's running up into second. Howling Time comes away third. Skippy Longstocking for the inside is fourth. Red Knob's fifth. Guntown and Lunisima at the back of the pack. 
Around the clubhouse turn they go. And it's Sport Pepper showing the way. Showing the way by a length and a half. No pressure yet from Red Danger, who's content to track the pace from second. It's going to be long stocking, saving ground. That opening turn is third in toward the rail. Howling time within striking range from fourth. Only two and a half lengths off the leader with five for lungs to go. And it's a margin of two back to Red Knobs, Guntown, and Lunisima after that slow beginning trails. 24 and 3. A moderate opening quarter to a composed half and 49 and 1. Four for lungs to go. No excuses for Sport Pepper, who heads for the far turn in control. Now Red Danger lets it out a notch and comes on with more pressure. And Howling Time is hovering to their outside three wide third. Skippy Long stocking in behind fourth. Red Knobs in fifth. Looney Sima's picking it up. Looney Sima with a sweep on the far outside into contention now. And Guntown's behind them, coming for the top of the stretch. Red Danger comes away with the lead. Howling time, hounding that one off the turn. Nothing left for Sport Pepper. Red Knobs is there, racing for the eighth pole, and Howling Time takes over. Howling Time to the front, opening up a length and a half. Red Danger fights on, but is back into second. Red Knobs is third, the rest with way too much to do. It is all Howling Time. Howling Time under the wire, the street sense winner by three. Red Danger was second, Red Knobs was third, Skippy Long Stocking was fourth. In the gate. And they're off. Crowding in the center gates as moving up to the early lead is Rod to Rod, challenged by Skippy Long Stocking. Here's the other favorites, AP Secret, the gray between horses and the white cap. Driving through at the inside, both Hard Rock Gold and King of Truth as they scrimmage for early supremacy. It's Hard Rock Truth, rather King of Truth, and Hard Rock Gold. They're now heads apart. Third is the gray AP Secret, fourth and four wide, Skippy Long Stocking. Junior Alvarado has strike hard five wide, but he's in the clear. He's about four lengths off the lead behind an aggressive opening quarter. Rod to Rod is next. The two at the back are Lunai Sima and the trailer, the Skipper, too. They make their way to the half-mile grounds. King of Truth now pushed along by AP Secret. Three wide and Skippy Long Stocking, four wide, strike hard. Strike hard. Three wide and making both of the other favorites go and go now if they want to keep their spot. Rod to Rod is fourth. He'll have a chance to rally from there. Dropping back now was Hard Rock Gold trying to get underway. The skipper two and Lunai Sima as they round the far turn. Opening half mile, 45 and three. It's been aggressive tactics for the top three as Strike Hard has now made a narrow lead. All in from third is AP Secret. Skippy Long Stocking trying to cling to Strike Hard who's still under light handling. From the back, the skipper two and rod to rod as they reach the top of the stretch. Strike hard after three quarters and 110 flat. Tries to finish it up here. He's an eighth of a mile from home and edging clear. Back to second is Skippy Long Stocking, then AP Secret and Rod to Rod. 16th to go and Strike Hard is clear and he'll win it. Strike hard on the board at seven to five. Well handled by Junior Alvarado and almost four in front. Close for second, one of the Safi Joseph horses. Skippy Long Stocking inside, AP Secret outside, then Rod to Rod, 135 and three. Racing in the Mucho Macho Man. A clean and level beginning. Soon after the start, Mr. Rum Runner went hunting an advantage from Strike Hard, who's put into play by Alvarado. Emerging between horses, simplification with Skippy Long Stocking on the outside. Sai is in no hurry early with graphic detail. He's second last, and the early trailer is the long shot, Sport Pepper. Out of the chute, onto the main track, and here's Simplification striding forward to take a clear lead. He leads by a length. Strike Hard is down at the inside, Skippy Long stocking on the far outside, and Mr. Rum Runner between them. Then it's a length and a half to graphic detail and two and a half to the trailer, Sport Pepper. The opening quarter, reasonable enough, 23 and three, less than five furlongs to run. Simplification has the lead by half a length. On the outside, Skippy Long Stocking is there second. Mr. Rum Runner is now third. Up to the outside, Graphic Detail begins to launch his bid, getting shuffled back, strike hard. He's back to fifth, but he's still in range. He's only four lengths off the lead. Alvarado wants some place to go. The trailer and not keeping up is Sport Pepper, and the leader is Simplification. Five sixteenths from home, Simplification held together by Castellano. In front, three parts of a length, Skippy Long Stocking second, Graphic Detail. He launched a bid, but now he's flattening out. Meanwhile, strike hard's trying to knife between horses. He's got run, but no place to prove it yet. Three quarters, 109 and four. There's less than a quarter of a mile to come. Simplification has the lead by two and a half. From out of the pack, it's strike hard up into second, but Simplification, he has more. It's Simplification and Javier Castellano, authoritative winners of the Mucho Macho Man.
again. They won it by three and a half while never threatened. Second strike hard, closer for third. Mr. Rum Runner appeared to outrun graphic detail in 135, flat. All set. And they're off. Good start inside for American Icon, sent along as Ironworks, and Ironworks has more natural early speed. He's going to reach out for the early lead. Not letting him get far as American Icon, and American Icon now hits his best stride and is up for a neck advantage. Super Legacy on the outside, Ironworks between horses. Alongside them are both Skippy Longstocking and Just Call Ray, saving ground in due time. Out the back is Steel Sunshine. He's not far away. Entire field separated by four lengths. Quarter was sharp, 23 and 1. Saez, an American icon. They're in front to the 5 eighths. They lead by a length and a half. No easy lead, though. From the rail, that's in due time. Angling for racing room. Skippy Long stocking up on the outside of the leader. Desert Ruler is the gray. We're racing in fourth now. Ironworks has got shuffled back a touch. Steel Sunshine moved up at the rail. Three wide and just call Ray, and Super Legacy is last. It's been a pretty taxing early pace as they went 45 and three for the opening half mile. It's the son of gun runner. It's American icon inside three furlongs from home. He's on top three parts of a length, but he's been working hard throughout. And now Saez is asking for another gear. American icon by only an egg. Skippy Longstocking giving him all he wants and in due time is on the outside of them. Three in line with a quarter of a mile remaining. Ironworks comes alive well fourth and they're at the top of the stretch. In due time, sweeping up on the outside to take the lead. American Icon fighting for second with Skippy Longstocking. Back to fourth, Ironworks sees Steel Sunshine at the rail. Final 16th of a mile in due time and Paco Lopez. They're an upset winner at 10 to one. In due time wins. American Icon showed some courage as he held second, got closer for third, Skippy Longstocking or Ironworks, then Steel Sunshine. And they're off. Swing shift comes out firing, King Cab moves to him. Little Vic is an in-hand angled over third with Skippy Longstocking next. Three wide at the back is in the Union, then Steel Sunshine just to his inside. King Cab wanted the lead and he'll have it. And jockey Le Julien Laparou kicks him to a six length lead. Little Vic is very headstrong while racing in second and swing shift. He was put into play early, but he's just out sprinted right now as they're rolling early. From fourth and Skippy Long stocking outside and in the Union and Steel Sunshine is last. If speed is your weapon, it's King Cab who has plenty of it as he whistled a quarter and he leads by six over Little Vic in second, swing shift is third. This fast pace is stringing out the field very badly here. Racing from fourth and Skippy Long stocking then in the Union and Steel Sunshine, the long shot of the group, but he's got a lot of pace ahead of him as the son of Noble Bird, King Cab is going quick. King Cab isolated at the half mile point. He leads by seven or eight lengths. Little Vic is second, swing shift is third, Skippy Longstocking is fourth, in the Union on the outside, and Steel Sunshine at the back. Around the far turn they go. A lot of hype in his hooves off his last race. It's King Cab, who's still well clear. He rounds the turn on top by six. Little Vic second, swing shift third. Skippy Longstocking is fourth, then Steel Sunshine, and in the Union as they run to the top of the stretch. The strides are shortening on King Cab. In fact, he is all in. Here's Skippy Longstocking, boldly now, rushing by. Swing shift and Little Vic are next. In the Union never took part in this. Steel Sunshine got some pace to run out. He's up into second, but at the top of the stretch, Skippy Longstocking is the one to beat. Skippy Longstocking with an eighth of a mile remaining. He's four on top. Steel Sunshine is second. Swing shift is third. Nine to two on Junior Alvarado and Skippy Longstocking. They're in front. Second is Steel Sunshine. Third is Swing Shift. And then Little Vic. And we are set for the Wood Memorial. they're off and it was a hesitant beginning for number five Morello who was last in the early going early voting is out for the early lead AP secrets on the outside and down at the rail it is a golden code steadying there just a bit with Skippy Longstocking as they go around the clubhouse turn to his outside is Baris then it's a break up two and a half lengths to a long term who races in sixth Mo Donegal is down at the rail in seventh and Morello is the trailer in eighth as the and four fifth seconds and it is early voting setting the pace here and leading by a half length ap secret keeping up the pressure on the outside in second and then it is baris and golden code the two of them are third and fourth the two new york brands are third and fourth 
then two and a half lengths back to Skippy Long Stocking. Mo Donegal is down at the rail. Long term is coming on through, and Morello continues to trail right now, about seven lengths from the lead. The half was run in 47 and three, and it is early voting on top as they go around the far turn. Early voting three quarters of a length. AP Secret is in second. Baris is next in third. Skippy Longstocking runs in fourth. And now Mo Donegal begins to pick it up. Mo Donegal is gaining ground towards the inside. Morello is now up to sixth, but with an awful lot to do as they hit the top of the stretch. Three quarters went in 111 and two. It is early voting, trying to take them wire to wire here. Early voting in front. Mo Donegal comes on through down on the inside to grab second. It is early voting in front. A challenge here from Mo Donegal. Early voting, trying to hold on with a 16th of the finish. Mo Donegal bearing down on the outside. It's Mo Donegal and early voting, and it is Mo Donegal. Mo Donegal won the Remsen here as a two-year-old, and he comes back to win today's 97th running of the Wood Memorial.